So you can remember the text where it, it, it tries to provide you with a defense to this, but you can't remember any of the horrible things that you did to Timothy. Is that your testimony here today? I don't have any control over what I can remember and what I don't, sir. You recall Paul's testimony yesterday about what he did in response to that photograph that he sent you and about saying we really need to feed him, Mama? I think we actually need to feed him, I believe, is the actual text. Yes, sir. I remember his testimony. And what was his testimony? That he gave him peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and I guess he cooked him some eggs. That was the first time you heard about that, wasn't it? Yes, sir. And that was not his instructions, was it? No, sir, but that was fine. I had no problem with that. Well, why did you just tell him to make him some eggs in the first place, then? Because I didn't think of it. I was in the middle of something. I think we actually need to start feeding him, and the only thing you can come up with, instead of Paul thinking to give him scrambled eggs, is give him some bread. That's all you could think of. It's, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I was in the middle of something. I wasn't, I wouldn't have thought of eggs anyway, not in the middle of the day. You said that you would, the, the punishments, and I guess this 3 o'clock in the morning one about not letting him sleep or he gets an ice bath, so he's got to be awake at 3 o'clock in the morning. You said that was because he would keep you guys up in the middle of the night or wake you up in the middle of the night? Yes. Yes, sir. Can you, and again, you did really well on the logic and reason por reasoning portion of the, the LSAT exam. Can you explain the reasoning behind keeping somebody awake when they're keeping you awake? To show them how it feels. But they're already awake, aren't they? It made sense to me, sir. It's, now that you ask it, but it, it doesn't seem to make sense, but it made sense to me at the time. You didn't actually mean that as punishment. That, that was just out of spite. You were just angry with Timothy for keeping you awake, weren't you? No, it was meant as a punishment, sir. <laughs> but it's also a punishment for yourself because you have to stay awake as well, don't you? I don't sleep much anyway. <coughs> yes, sir. Or Paul has to stay awake, right? Yes, sir. Paul's an insomniac as well. You testified that you gave Paul, you gave Timothy a warm bath the night before he passed away, that last night, July 5th. Do you recall that? Yes, sir. That was the first time you've told anybody connected to this case that you'd done that, isn't it? Yes, sir. You never told the police officers you did that, did you? No, sir. <clears throat> I imagine a warm bath sounds just like, it's just what it sounds like, right? You, you got him, you took him to the bath, you grew a warm bath for him, and you put him in the bathtub, right? Yes, sir. This is hours before he dies, right? Yes, sir. You look like that when you put him in the bathtub? <coughs> I'm sorry. Do we have a trash can? Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. 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 Please rise.